a damsel in distress. They were all dead. Love kills. Did I love her? Was there a choice? The past is a gaping hole. You try to run from it. The more you run, the deeper, more terrible it grows behind you. Its edges yawning at your heels. Your only chance is to turn around and face it. We are at the sea. Repeat, we are at the sea. But it's like looking down into the grave of your love. Check the area. Hold your fire. Or kissing the mouth of a gun, a bullet trembling in its dark nest, ready to blow your head off. We're losing him. Multiple gunshot wounds. Pupils blown. Head trauma. God only knows what else. He's in shock. Start two large four IVs. Get him to ICU. He's not responding. This guy is a train wreck. We're losing him. When I woke up in the hospital earlier tonight, I thought it couldn't get any worse. I opened my eyes, and everything slid into focus. She was dead. I was hurt. My crime, what I had done, was like a hungry pit behind me. I had to run, get as far away from it as possible. You're not going anywhere. What happened out there? You did it. Eternal Affairs is breathing down my neck. Did you do it? You killed her. No, I can't. Damn. They were after me. It was my fault. You can't run from your past. You'll end up running in circles. Until you fall back down to the same hole you were trying to escape from. Only the hole's grown deeper. I had wanted to be punished for what I had done, but Alfred Woden had kept his word. With his influence, ridiculously, I had emerged from my history of violence unscathed. A hero. I didn't thank him. I couldn't stomach it. I left the DEA. I went back to where I had started out. Back to the job. The NYPD. Reported shots fired in the warehouse there, acknowledged. It's mine. I'm on it. 10-4. You guys attacked us! I have no beef with you guys! You took them out! Listen, I work for Vladimir! Honey, you work for no one. <laughs> what do you want? We, we can... NYPD, drop them! Finish her! Oh God, no! Like all the bad things in my life, it started with the death of a woman. I couldn't save her. Come on, come on! Finally! Hey! Mona? Max, we gotta stop meeting like this. My backup had arrived, but the cleaners were slipping away, making a run for it. Max! You got sloppy pain. You screwed up. It's unacceptable that she's dead. You can do better. I played it as business as usual. But everything had changed the moment those elevator doors opened to reveal Mona. We got lucky. There's an eyewitness. She hovered over my shoulder, whispering warnings. I didn't want to listen. Mona was the suspect in Winterson's case. I didn't tell them I had seen her. I wanted to stall. We need to talk. Bring me a towel, will you? Now that you're here, you can watch my back while I get dressed. All she had told me was that someone wanted us dead. The way she was acting, I was the only one in danger here. You'll have to give me a lot more than that. The inner circle. What of it? The secret society is after everyone who knows of their existence. Come off it. Prove it. I have a contact inside. He's willing to talk. Alfred Woden? No. Anyways, I can take you to him. The Circle goes back to the centuries-old Masonic cults. Corruption and assassinations reaching all the way to the presidential level. Right. 
And here I was, thinking conspiracy theories had gone out of style. We're here. So are they. We're late. He's dead. You need to get out of there. We need to leave now. More cleaners in the lobby coming your way. In the photo, a group of men posing in front of a manor house. Corcoran was there. Senator Gate was there. So was Alfred Woden. So it was true. All bets were off. The inner circle was involved. NYPD, freeze! Easy! Don't move! Payne, what are you doing? What are you doing? The million dollar question I didn't have the answer to. It was all connected. The murder of Senator Gate, the cleaners, the inner circle, Vinny Gogniti. I had to make Winterson see it. Winterson's phone was ringing. She wasn't at her desk. Winterson's phone. Jesus Christ! Mom? That was a bomb! Upstairs, now! <laughs> Jesus! Upstairs, now! Something was off. Mona's words on her being a sitting duck kept playing in my head. The bomb had misdirection written all over it. Strap it! Oh! Armed perps in the locker! Officer down! Take him down! Find the bitch! Find her! Kill her! NYPD! Drop your gun! Why was I there again? Wait! Wait just a minute! Talk to me! What are you so afraid of? What do you want from me? The things that I want, by Max Payne. The smoke, a whiskey, for the sun to shine. More than anything, I wanted her. You led them here. Up to my place. We can take them there. Firing a gun is a binary choice. You either pull the trigger or you don't. Stop! Stop! Wait! Stay out of this, Max. You're only making it worse. You've been suspended. She's one of them. She's here to kill me. I'm doing my duty. She is a fugitive murder suspect. I'm taking her in. She resists. She gets shot. Easy. Back off, Payne. This is what I see when I look back. These moments. Blinding as snow. They kill you. Change you. You die and live again. Remade. No, Mona. Winters! Go, run! Mona! Over here! Hold it! Ah! Detective Winnison! Officer down! He went over the edge! The genius of the hole. No matter how long you spend climbing out, you can still fall back down in an instant. up in the hospital earlier tonight. I had thought things couldn't get any worse. I was wrong. Fast forward from that to Winterson's body at the hospital morgue. I was a murderer. A cop killer. Mona was still the answer. I caught glimpses of her out of the corner of my eye. Felt her presence everywhere I went. I was trying to trace her path. Recreate the winding course of the magic bullet in her head. I couldn't find her. I drove out of the city in the direction Mona had pointed me, to a man who specialized in answers. Mr. Payne, I've been expecting you. Why is the inner circle trying to kill me? I am dying. Cancer. Power has leaked through my fingers. There was a rebellion. 
A renegade faction has pushed the society into a civil war. Everyone who resists is assassinated. We have been reduced to fighting mob wars. Vinny Gagnetti? Vladimir Lem. I knew the answer before he told me. Vlad had lied. Cleaning company commandos were his men. Vladimir Lem has belonged to the society for many years. Gogniti is going to die in the hands of the Inner Circle Renegade. Then he is coming for me, his one-time mentor. I was desperate enough to look for Mona at the funhouse. I got a bad feeling about this. Max, dearest of all my friends, drop your gun or the bomb goes. I had a bomb ticking in my head. No amount of painkillers would disable it. Vlad and his men left after they were done with Vinny and me. I don't know how Mona came to be there. I can only speculate. It's clear that she was after Vlad. Max. She must have gotten there after he had left. Otherwise, he'd have been dead, and she wouldn't have come after me. Max, come on. Time to wake up. Death is inevitable. Our fear of it makes us play safe, blocks out emotion. It's a losing game. Without passion, you're already dead. Max, come on. Time to wake up. She was beautiful. I hated her for making me feel this way. Now that I was with her, I was reluctant to hear her answers. You okay? Vlad was headed to Woden's Manor. <sighs> don't be stupid. You're not in shape to go anywhere. You'll die. I don't care. This isn't your fight, Max. You can walk away. I'm asking you. I didn't deserve to walk away. There are no happy endings. You're coming with me. It was too late. I couldn't trust her. Not before I had seen this through. Mona, wait. Stop! This is love. Ah! When someone drags you from the wreckage when you have given in, ready to just lie there and die. I told you not to come here. It's my job to clear up this mess and you're a part of it. Throw away your guns. This is love. When someone, no matter what the cost, shows you there is hope, a choice, that you can put down your gun. See? I can't do it. I was so looking forward to you two killing each other. Ah, oh, you can't have everything. I had been here before. Ground Zero. You are making me look incompetent by refusing to die. I felt the rise of that old familiar feeling. I hated it. I welcomed it. One last thing left to do. I was compelled to give Vlad his gun back. One bullet at a time. We are willing to suffer, to die for the things we care about, for love, for the right choices. Because of her, I had solved the case, my case, all of it, who I am. I had a dream of my wife. She was dead, but it was all right.